smile that made me weak I sat by your side and let you speak taking all the clues you gave me to the wonder of you you and I should spend some time
So take my hand, we'll go real slow. in the darkness see the tale of signorates is bliss another chance that sight is missed oh.
Knock it off, Wally. Hi everyone, my name is Diane Trivett and I am the founder and president of the Houston Vitiligo Awareness Movement right here in Houston, Texas. I am so excited about this opportunity to just say hello to my favorite person, the amazing Rick Judati and all the staff over at Positive Exposure. Hi, this is Nadia in DC. Just wanted to say thank you to Positive Exposure for being there with me all along for the last 10 years or more. Hi, Positive Exposure friends and family. We're here in Greenville, South Carolina. We're so excited for this year's celebration. Thank you for all you do for your families. We're, We're cheering, cheering for you. Woo! Woo! Let's go, Positive Exposure. Welcome to our 2021 Change How You See celebration. I'm Rick Widati, founder of Positive Exposure. I'm a Caucasian man with gray hair, green eyes, and I'm wearing a black jacket with a light blue shirt. We are so thrilled you could be here to share this incredible event with us. I want to give a special hello to all of our friends who are joining us directly from our delicious pre-party meal, courtesy of Tastemade. And thank you to the fabulous chef Greg Brackman of G-Bar in Swampscott, Massachusetts for preparing the menu and letting us cook along with him. My culinary skills have definitely raised the notch. How amazing is it that thanks to technology, friends from around the world can come together to prepare and share a meal. If you have a passion for food and travel, you gotta check out Tastemade. Now let's get started. I can't wait for you all to meet the incredible people who are joining us this year. There is such amazing beauty and grace in every single person on this planet. And we are here to celebrate everything that makes each of us unique. The more we include everyone as part of our global community and embrace the gifts that each of us have to offer, the richer and fuller all of our lives will be. The simple message of inclusion and respect is at the core of everything we do at Positive Exposure. We always collaborate with individuals and communities at risk of stigma and exclusion. From our great friends living with disabilities, mental health challenges, our veterans, our LGBTQ plus community, and all of our friends and families living with genetic, physical, behavioral, and intellectual differences. And we are inviting all of you to join us, to be part of this global community. Together, we have the power to affect social change by the very celebration of our individual humanity. Here's a little something about us and what we have been up to lately. Hi, I'm Rick Guidotti, founder of Positive Exposure, using the arts to celebrate the beauty and richness of human diversity. Rick Guidotti was a world famous fashion photographer, but he was bored with shooting professional models. He was tired of being told who was beautiful. So he went out and found his own models. That decision changed the lives of thousands of kids. It even changed the way we doctors look at our patients. <laughs> as a fashion photographer in New York City and Europe, I was always told who was beautiful. But as an artist, I never saw beauty just on covers of magazines. I see beauty everywhere. Rick stopped doing fashion photography entirely and started a foundation called Positive Exposure. He worked with film director Joanna Rudnick to create the film On Beauty which is being shown, among other places, in schools, which is helping to stop some of the bullying these kids live with. I'm actually traveling around the world, photographing people with genetic conditions. I had never thought of the power of a photograph as in the impact it would have in someone's life. He also talks to medical students, and his images are replacing some of the grimmer images in the medical literature. They're going to be better doctors because they've seen these kids not in crisis. They've met these kids not in the clinical environment, but they've seen these kids as people. Our FRAME program, Faces Redefining the Art of Medical Education, is an extensive web-based film library that has been utilized by tens of thousands of healthcare professionals in training, clinicians, families, and communities. In each FRAME film, individuals and their families demonstrate the hallmark characteristics of a featured condition, placing front row and center in medical education, humanity. Hi, my name is Christine. 
and my friends and I would love to teach you more about living with cerebral palsy. We've expanded our medical education programs with course selectives and modules in which healthcare providers in training from institutions including Yale, SUNY Downstate, Temple University, Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, and Boston University interact with specialists, families, and advocacy organizations from around the world. An example is a six-hour course selective in collaboration with the Chromosome 18 Registry and Research Society. Earlier this year, we completed filming three frame films on Alzheimer's, epilepsy, and supported decision-making. The Pearls Project, featured in the New York Times article entitled Learning Empathy by Looking Beyond Disabilities, is a blog platform created for our ambassadors to share life from their unique perspective, helping audiences appreciate and experience our shared humanity. My name is Byron. I live in the D.C. area. I'm 14. When I was 10 months old, I had a left hemispherectomy. Um, I had the left half of my brain removed because I have a, I have something called Sturge Weber syndrome. I wear a brace on the on my right leg and right arm. I only see out of the right side of each eye. So sometimes it's harder for me to see some see things on the right side. So playing sports can be frustrating because I might not see a ball coming. Um Um, I didn't see that coming. Hey everyone at Positive Exposure, this is Byron. I can't believe it's been 10 years since I filmed that last video. Time has flown by. Since then, I have graduated college and I'm now working in the sports industry. The funny thing about the sports industry is sometimes you find yourself dodging random balls that come flying to the right side of you, which I still can't see. Pearl's ambassadors participated in a number of virtual experiences at Case Western Reserve, Cornell, and Sarah Lawrence. For over two decades, we have partnered with diverse communities to create multimedia exhibitions that have facilitated important conversations and needed change, impacting millions of people. We recently installed permanent exhibitions at both New York University's Dental Oral Health and University of Pennsylvania's Care Center for Persons with Disabilities. In addition, we've created virtual exhibitions. Most recently, the Undiagnosed Initiative was launched on the virtual platform at the Mayo Clinic in partnership with the Wilhelm Foundation, National Institutes of Health, and the Karolinska Institute. In October 2019, we opened our new headquarters in East Harlem on Museum Mile that embraces individuals at risk of stigma and exclusion and serves as a central hub for showcasing the work of visual, performing, literary, and multi-sensory artists, as well as providing educational, cultural, and artists in residency programming. The first of its kind gallery invites the general public to visit, to be wowed, to learn, to engage in dialogue and experience these ever-evolving collections and important, often overlooked, contributions to the art world. Fearful of the isolating effects of the pandemic for our communities, already experiencing isolation and exclusion, we created Positive Exposure Connects, a Facebook Live series of energized discussions with activists, advocates, educators, artists, healthcare providers, friends, families, and communities. When they say, well, what do we say? Well, just say hi first. <laughs> you, know, right? then, <laughs> say hi. you know, don't just stare. And then if you have a question, we do not mind answering questions. It's just when we get the stares or the whispers to each other that we just, it makes us uncomfortable. And especially when you think about kids, you know, I think about them in school and I grew up with vitiligo. I've had it for almost 50 years now. We were able to connect our New York City Gallery as well as all of our programs to audiences worldwide. I want to see my, my images, a black woman with a disability, 
In fall 2020, we worked with artist Marco Santini, who painted a four-story mural using an array of brightly colored geometric shapes and the word love in over 100 languages in our courtyard. Our wall of love inspired several public art initiatives. One of our partners, New York City's Department of Education's District 75, a citywide program that serves more than 28,000 children with disabilities ages 3 to 21, who require more intensive specialized services. The artists there were encouraged to share and express their ideas around love, inclusion, and unity. We will continue working with artists and organizations, and it is our goal to inspire others to create public art installations in New York City and around the globe, filling the world with love, showcasing our shared humanity. The Positive Exposure Gallery has been active and productive seven days a week. We now include a hybrid of both virtual and in-person programming, further expanding our Brain Film Library and Pearls programs. With your donations, we will add to our lectures, exhibitions, and educational initiatives, including an instructional film for first responders to gain a better understanding of individuals living with disabilities and people at risk of stigma and exclusion. And with your support, we will continue to expand our focus and programming on mental health. Positive Exposure offers unique and compelling multimedia diversity, equity, and inclusion workshops. Additionally, our immediate goals are to create training films on topics including healthcare disparities, representation, language, culture, and disability. Join us in creating a more inclusive world. As you can see, positive exposure is a constant hub of activity, and there's so much more we want to achieve. Getting ready for this celebration has provided a chance to catch up with so many people we love all around the world. In addition, we're thrilled to present awards to our two honorees, Dr. Steve Perlman, who will receive the 2021 Spirit of Change Award, and Sean Horn, who will be receiving a new award we created this year called the Rising Leader Award. They have made a huge impact with their relentless advocacy, strength, and love. I also want to thank our generous sponsors, Tastemade, Goldman Sachs, Myers Leadership, Edwards Harris Family Trust, Cushman Wakefield, Aptima, Familial Dysautonomia Foundation, Patty and Ricky Adapted Clothing, Morgan Lewis, Sublime Communications, and Miraflex. We could not do something like this without all of their help and without yours. We invite you to use the links below to make a tax-deductible donation. Every donation counts. We also invite you to check out our live auction. There's everything from wonderful vacations, executive to coaching, to artwork by renowned artists, including David Markey and Mary Wright. So please take a look and lend your support. We count on funds raised during this event to keep us going. So if you love what we're doing, please donate whatever you can. Now, without further ado, I am so excited to introduce you to some of our talented friends. They are amazing, so sit back and enjoy. The Broadway Boys, Trishel Edmond, Portia Cena, the Merry Rockers, and Brandon Kazen Maddox, Goda, or a grandchild of deaf adults. Hi, I'm a friend of Positive Exposure, and my name is Trishel. I'm wearing a yellow tank top with green pants, gold bracelet, gold eyeshadow, and lip gloss. I'd like to introduce you to... Hi, my name is Jesse. I am the artistic director of the Broadway Boys, and we are all wearing black coats, white button-down shirts, with cute blue jeans.
It's time to try Defy Gravity I think I'll try Defy Gravity And you Porchesina. I have dark brown eyes, curly, dirty blonde hair, and I have a skin condition called ichthyosis, which kind of just makes my skin look like uh, very red and kind of look like it's sunburnt, but I have little dots all over my body that are made up of normal skin. I also am wearing a really pretty uh, blue and white gingham dress with some uh, pretty brown heels. Uh, I'm a singer and songwriter, and I've always loved music ever since I was little. And today I'm going to be singing for you guys a song that I wrote called Perfect Barbie, and I really hope you all enjoy. Beautiful, popular, that's what she is. Makeup breakups, her hand in his, she gets good grades, she gets straight. She still has time to throw shade my way She's got a whole crowd walking with her Hundreds of guys waiting to kiss her She's got confidence and she's got curves God, I wish I was a popular girl Jealousy, honey, making me go crazy Dream house going out, no insecurities Simultaneously making me lose my mind She's so pretty and I'm always his plan C She's first knockers for the cool reality When she posed, they roared My friends are less than four She's the perfect 
perfect girl, the perfect Barbie. Mm-hmm. Her mama's got money, so she flaunts her pearls, gets everything she wants, a spoiled daddy's girl. Well, I'm at home waiting for someone to text me back. God, I wish I wasn't. I wish I had that jealousy, honey, you making me go crazy. Dream house going out, no insecurities simultaneously, making me lose my mind. Because she's so pretty and I'm always a plan C. She's first not cursed for the cruel reality when she posts their or My friends are less than four, she's the perfect girl. Hi, everybody. My name is Brandon, last name Kazen Maddox. I am a Goda, a grandchild of deaf adults, and I'm wearing a yellow dashiki shirt with many colors on it, red, black, green, and I am a light-skinned black person, gender non-conforming. I have light brown eyes, dark brown locks that are shoulder length, and I will be interpreting for Aaron Nigel Smith and the Merry Rockers musical group. Enjoy the show. Love ya. Hi everyone, I'm Mar from the Merry Rockers. I made this video with my friends Aaron Nigel Smith and Tubby Love. In this video, we are wearing bright colors dancing, and having lots of fun. I hope you enjoy it. myself. 
Winship from Melbourne in Australia. Unfortunately, we're in COVID lockdown, so I'm standing in front of our family tree that signifies genetics rather than some scenic spot. I've worked with Rick for more than 20 years and want to thank him for his amazing work, for inspiring my patients, my colleagues, my students, my son, and myself. Your work is amazing. The dignity and respect that you afford people and the creativity is unparalleled. We're a coffee culture here in Melbourne. I raise a good quality cup of coffee and say, congratulations, Rick. Keep the good work up and all best wishes to positive exposure. Thank you. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Mariam Badi-Kazemi, Chief of Division of Genetic at Metropolitan Hospital. Uh, today, I'm here to show you some of the collaborative work we have done with Positive Exposure and Rick and especially thank them for the joy that they brought to our patient and the patient community. We are located at East Harlem and we serve a mostly immigrant community. And this was a really a treasure for them. Um, during this um, kind of collaborative work, uh, Rick brought the best out of them and um, we have pictures taken and they really, really enjoy the process, especially after they saw their picture on pop poster that um, was demonstrated during our celebration with patients and family during 2019 Rare Disease Day, what we every year do, but this was uh, very special since patient, they were um, kind of seeing themselves everywhere and feeling uh, part of the real community. And um, I hope that uh, this collaborative works um, across the globe will continue. And I'm sure um, that positive exposure always will be a, a special part of this uh, care for the patients or individuals with rare condition. Thank you. Wow, right? We're so grateful to all of our friends who said yes to being part of our celebration this year. I also want to thank all of you who have already donated and placed bids over some of our one-of-a-kind items in the auction. I invite all of you to be part of this in any way that you can. And speaking of being part of this, I want to introduce you to our co-host this evening, global empowerment speaker, Gen Z activist, and author, Brandon Farbstein. Hey, Brandon, it's great to see you. I can't believe you've done so much and you're only 21 years old. So excited that you're joining us as co-host. 
Thank you so much, Rick. I am so excited to be here supporting Positive Exposure. So what you might not be able to tell on camera is that I stand at three foot nine. That is thanks to a very rare form of dwarfism that I have called metatropic dysplasia. And just to put that into context, rare being there are less than 84 cases reported in medical history. So I'm living a life of no roadmap, no uh, indication of kind of what is going to come next. But I've lived that with a mindset to innovate my own solution, to not necessarily wait for others, whether it be doctors or anybody who is trying to tell me how to live my life. I, I didn't accept that. I, from a very young age, realized I had to make decisions on my own and kind of drive this ship that I call my life. And it is something that I used to really hate being different and standing in the body that I do to a point where I was 11 and nearly ended my life because I saw no purpose and no reason to be this unique until I realized being unique and being different is literally a superpower. And if we embrace that and stand tall in all of that, then we are literally unstoppable. And that is how I decided to be, not only for my own sake, but to share that with the world. And at 15, I gave a TED Talk, which launched everything for me. That was how I found my purpose and my mission to elevate empathy. And I've been following that ever since. Wow, you're amazing. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your book. So my book, 10 Feet Tall, isn't just about my story and the unique perspective that I have on the world, but it's the lessons that are truly universal for anybody who have felt othered or less than or invisible in any way. And it's a roadmap to really standing 10 feet tall in that and being that version of yourself that you know you're meant to be without limiting beliefs, without anything holding you back. And that's what 10 Feet Tall really is. Sounds like you have so much going on. We've been really busy here at Positive Exposure as well. And speaking of busy, here's one of our favorite singers, Lachi, performing with Brandon Kays and Maddox, Gota, grandchild of deaf adults. Take a look. Hi, everybody. Brandon here again. Now I'm wearing a blue button-down shirt and I'm signing for my friend Lachi. I'm excited, looking forward to it. Enjoy the show. Hi everyone, it's me Lachi. I'm a brown-skinned black girl with long black wavy hair, golden hoop earrings, a golden necklace with a music charm, um, fully done nice makeup, dope nails, a tan crop top, black pants, and I'm sitting in my studio, and behind me are my keyboards. I'm a recording artist, songwriter, award-winning creative artist, and a disability inclusion advocate, myself being legally blind. I'm really excited to celebrate with positive exposure and to be a voice for the wall of love. I hope this movement of love and inclusion spreads the world over until everybody is feeling the love. Thank you. trying me and so many keep prying if there's anything i've noticed if i know anything i know this you show me that i'm wanted you show me that i got you wherever you go Smoke, you allow me to be lesser 
You allow me to learn the lessons And even when I get abrasive Well, that is when you can embrace it If you show me that I'm wanted You show me that I got you Wherever you go oh, 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 oh. You got me high or low oh, 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 oh. Wherever you go oh, 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 oh. You got me high or low Last year was our very first Change How You See celebration. When we were asking friends to be a part of it, the first person to say yes was legendary performer Anne Reinking. I've known Annie for many years. She sent us a moving tribute, but by the time we were editing everything together, Annie suddenly passed away. This force of nature who was there, always there for everyone was suddenly gone. We were devastated. And thinking about Anne Reinking's incredible legacy of inclusion and advocacy, we wanted to pay her a special tribute. Her awesome son, Christopher, was the first person with Marfan Center I ever met and photographed. We were creating the first positive exposure exhibition for the People's Genome Celebration at the Smithsonian in D.C. I'll never forget that amazing experience and how, as a very wise young man of eight years old, Christopher taught me the importance of authenticity, connection, having fun, and listening. These qualities built the foundation of positive exposure. Christopher's image was the first image you saw upon entering the exhibit. And it was during the opening celebration that a woman approached me and said, my dad has Marfan syndrome. I have Marfan syndrome. And every year we go to the beach with friends and families and we cover up our scoliosis and our pectus excavatum and our long thin arms and legs with our beach gear. But after meeting Christopher, I am so buying a bikini. This proved the impact of Chris's confidence his presence, his beauty, his advocacy on audiences and communities, and the impact his image continues to have on audiences and communities worldwide. We're so fortunate to have renowned choreographer James Kenny, who began as one of Annie's students to help us. And here to start us off is two-time Tony Award winner, two-time Emmy Award winner, and recipient of countless other awards and accolades, and Annie's dear friend, B.B. Newarth. Hi, I'm Bibi Newarth. I'm a Caucasian woman with very fair skin. I have hazel eyes. I have, uh, I'm wearing red glasses. I have dark hair uh, shot through with some gray. And I'm wearing a very shiny, bright fuchsia pink t-shirt. And I am so happy to be part of this celebration of positive exposure and to honor my dear, wonderful friend, Anne Reinking. Annie was so many things. She was an award-winning dancer and actor, a friend with a heart of gold, a Broadway director and choreographer, 
a brilliant teacher, a wife, the first to laugh at a bad joke, but most of all, she was a fantastic mother. When Annie's beautiful son, Christopher, was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome, she was not going to let anything get in his way. She became a passionate advocate and Christopher became part of everyone's lives who had the pleasure of working with her. He truly grew up backstage as part of anything she was working on. When Annie passed away suddenly last year, it struck a blow to us all. But like her fierce, indomitable spirit, she lives on in the work she created and in the legacy of her inclusion advocacy. Annie saw dance in everything and everyone. To her, it was the expression of the human soul and the celebration of our bodies. And now, a special tribute to my very special friend, Anne Ranking, and her amazing son, Christopher. For Anne, choreographed by James Kinney, filmed and edited by Pierre Moray, performed by Heidi Latsky Dance Corps Company member Donald Lee, and Broadway dancers Ashley Blair Fitzgerald, Yesenia Ayala, and Arissa Odaka. Everything Old is New Again, courtesy of the Peter Allen Family Trust, Music and Vocals, and Carol Bayer Sager Lyrics. In My Hands, documentary footage, courtesy of the Marfan Foundation. Anybody else's knees go flat? Okay, that's good. Great. Who can do that? Chris, can you lay on the floor? On your back? No drama there. Okay, and then put your knees together and your, your feet are out like that. Does anybody do that? That's cool. From my point of view, I think the most difficult thing for teenagers with Marfans is being different and their sense of who they are and identity and am I beautiful? These are classic questions of a young person, but I think it's intensified even more because of Marfans. You guys kind of know why you're here, right? Ish, ish, kind of. I'm a choreographer and a dancer, and so I'm constantly looking at shapes and sizes and this and that, and how can I make some classical position look different? And I'm looking at these kids with Marfans, and they're exquisite. We're here to do a dance about the beauty of our bodies. So we're just gonna do simple things. They need to know how beautiful they are, and I don't think they do. One, two, three. Four, five, six. It is hard to do something solely with the body and not feel vulnerable. The one good thing about dance is that if you are truly yourself, then it's all good. Summer. 
as you can see, I am wearing my positive exposure hat. And if you can't, what it says is change how you see, see how you change. Isn't it amazing how things just change if you look at it differently? For example, right now, I'm talking to you without any glasses on, but if I had to read something, glasses on, because I can't see without them. So it's important that when we change how we see, we see how we change. And we just thank you for everything that you're doing to make a difference in the lives of those of us who may look different, but we're just like everybody else. So have a great day and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Positive exposure grew out of my life as a fashion photographer. When I discovered a larger sense of beauty, my mission in life came into focus. The beauty of all humanity drives me every day. Our positive exposure photographs have been shared around the world. Please enjoy these images of our incredible friends and ambassadors, accompanied by four of our talented musician friends. Hello, everybody at Positive Exposure. My name is David Lutkin, and I'm a Caucasian man from Texas, and I've got a little band here today. I'm wearing a blue shirt and playing the mandolin, and uh, I'll let the rest of the band introduce themselves for you. I'm David Finch, and I'm from Danbury, Connecticut. I'm playing the fiddle for you here today. I'm a Caucasian, white Caucasian male, and I'm wearing a, a white, red, and blue checkered plaid shirt. <laughs> I'm Spiff Wiegand. Uh, I'm from Kentucky. I'm white male with uh, wearing sort of a lumberjack orange uh, checkered shirt with uh, jeans, and I'll be playing the banjo for you today. And I'm Brittany Brook. I am a white woman from Montana. I am wearing a blue gingham dress, and I'm playing this beautiful parlor guitar. We're going to do a great old song it's called Alberta. Thank you, David. <laughs> Sending love to our friends and families that are hosting watch parties like Alice and Jack in Connecticut, Betsy Myers and her daughter Maddie in Boston, Steve Perlman's family also in Boston, Beacon in Belgium, the Sunshine Troop in Australia, Simon Woolley in New Zealand, our friends in the Faroe Islands, and so many others. Hello and welcome to Team Freya in Gothenburg, Sweden. We're having a toast 
to celebrate the great positive exposure and sitting in our IKEA sofa, Swedish. Nice Orifus glasses, Swedish. Volvo top. Bubbles, not Swedish, but made especially this year for celebrating Gothenburg turning 400 years. So a toast to you from us. We're saying Skål! Skål! Skål Freya! We love you, Hi, my name is Maggie Miller, and I am one of the founders of the organization PRISMS. PRISMS stands for Parents and Researchers Interested in Smith McGinnis Syndrome. I am also the mother of a daughter named Deirdre who has Smith McGinnis Syndrome. I've known Rick Widati a number of years and Rick was one of my very first mentors. And while we were still in the very early days of organizing PRISMS, we were mainly focused on getting out information and awareness specifically about the syndrome. Alongside, I was still a young mom and also focused on all the difficult aspects and challenges of the syndrome and really just trying to get through each day. I was definitely bogged down and mired in worry and dismay at times. It was very difficult. But then I met Rick. And Rick was the very first person to really pull back the curtain and let me see the extraordinary aspects of my own child. He allowed me to see her in an entirely new way. It was really a watershed moment for me when I saw the first pictures that Rick took of my daughter in his New York City loft. And as her mom, I realized that I had only been seeing the syndrome and not this wonderful child. But Rick really allowed me to kind of open that door and just see all of the wonderfulness that was a part of her that I had already been missing. So I have those first series of pictures framed in a hallway in my house. And those pictures are really a daily reminder of who she really is. And I'm so grateful to Rick because he really transformed my point of view of my own child. And we know that he's done that worldwide for so many people. So thank you, Rick. Thanks to everyone for their support and it is especially thrilling to see some of our wonderful Pearls Ambassadors. Our Pearls program creates a platform in which our Pearls Ambassadors can share their unique lives and experiences with the rest of the world. It's a huge means of support and connection. And speaking of support and connection, please welcome back our amazing co-host, Brandon. It is incredible to see how the program has evolved. Being one of the first Positive Exposure Pearl Ambassadors, I saw firsthand that all of these people who are from such incredible backgrounds and walks of life that I wouldn't have gotten to connect with or meet, we all have a commonality in which we aren't choosing to be defined by whatever condition or disability or diagnosis we have, but instead showing the world that we're so much more than this one side, this one thing that defines us. We are a full 360 of beauty and talent and awesomeness that each one of us got to showcase. And that was so special. Amazing to remember all that, Brandon. So incredible that you were part of us and our Pearls Project early, early days. And as co-host, I probably should mention that you all can text to donate on the screen right now. We would appreciate your support so much and any amount makes a difference. Don't forget to check out the amazing silent auction items and get your bids in before it's too late. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon, who in your life is always there for you? It's a great question. I would say my parents have been my biggest superheroes, but I have a very special relationship 
with my mom, especially uh, just in a way that she's my person and she understands me more than anybody else has ever. And we now get to work together. She's been my business partner and my manager for the last three or four years now and getting to be on this mission to impact and empower the world together has been one of the most, uh, I don't even know, fun and exciting rides that we've been on. But just to, to have my mom by my side through it all from when I was 11 and sitting on the floor of my bedroom thinking that I didn't wanna be here anymore to now feeling like I'm 10 feet tall and on top of the world and having her right beside me through all of that. I love her with every bit of uh, flesh and soul in me. And I'm so glad that I have really been led the way by my mom and dad who have shown me nothing but love and support through all of the twists and turns that we call life. How about you, Rick? I, I'd love to know, starting in absolutely extraordinary organization like Positive Exposure takes a lot, both professionally, but obviously personally. Who has been there for you and you know, supported all of those ups and downs through your journey? Wow, there are so many people that have contributed to our community, like Liz Grossman, our executive director, who's been with us for over 12 years. In fact, we would not even be here without the ongoing tireless work of our board of directors, our very generous supporters that have been here with us since the very beginning, our new supporters who believe in our mission, our newly formed junior board, our positive exposure team, and our volunteers and interns. What a support these pillars of strength have been. And with that in mind, it's time to present our Rising Leader Award, the dedication, advocacy, and commitment from disability rights pioneers and warriors have created sparks that will continue to fuel flames for generations to come. The Positive Exposure Rising Leader Award acknowledges this generation of emblazoned activists. And here to help us present the award is Positive Exposure's 2020 Spirit of Change Award winner and the star of Oscar-nominated documentary film Crip Camp, human rights activist and great friend, Judy Human. Sean Horn, it is my pleasure to be giving you the Positive Exposure Rising Leader Award. I could think of no one who is more deserving of this. You are an amazing leader and you are rising You've risen and you will only continue to rise further. You are such a positive example, always working on change. You bring your positive energy and your vision for inclusion in everything that you do every day. You really are a leader because you also, in your actions, enable other people to learn about how they should proceed. So thank you for your work. I so look forward to our continuing relationship and thank you Positive Exposure for honoring Sean. It is with the utmost respect, admiration and gratitude that Positive Exposure would like to honor you with the 2021 Rising Leader Award in recognition of your commitment to disability rights, beauty, advocacy and humanity. Disability rights pioneers like Judith Human have created sparks for future generations in advocacy communities supporting individuals at risk of stigma and exclusion. The Positive Exposure Rising Leader Award celebrates a new generation of emblazoned activists whose lives have been impacted by such fierce leadership. Sean, you've been listening, watching, learning from these extraordinary mentors, adding your own voice, and have been driven to pushing forward to the obstacle society continues to place in the path to acceptance and accessibility for all. As Judith Human has often quoted, there is still so much more to do. This year's 2021 Rising Leader Award is presented to you, amazing, unstoppable, creative, fearless, passionate Sean Horn, whose actions keep the flames of justice burning brightly. I love you so much. Oh, gosh. Yay. Oh, thank you. Oh. I love you, too. Oh, gosh. Uh, you know, Judy Human says there's so much work to do, but none of us get this work done on our own. And, and that's what I've really been thinking about, is just all the people 
that um, supported and loved me through this. And, and the fact that I get this from Rick and Positive Exposure, which is all about um, love and, and connection and unity, um, that means so much. So I can't tell you um, how moved I am uh, just to be here and to know that we don't do this work alone. And so I just want to thank the Judy Humans, the Steve Perlmans, and as Rick said, the many mentors that made it possible for me to be here. And one of those people, you know, Rick and Positive Exposure, they gave me my first speaking gig ever. I was the most stage frightened person you could possibly imagine. So if I can do it, so can you, you know? It's interesting because people always talk about what is the meaning of life? And uh, we act as though it's very confusing. I think it's very simple. Uh, to me, the meaning of life is learning to love well and express that love well. And, Nobody does that better than Rick and Positive Exposure. And so for me, um, just to have a kindred spirit in this work, I can't tell you what it means to me. Um, and I just want to say to anyone who's ever felt that they, they couldn't make a difference or they look at Rick or Steve or, or Judy and say, well, that's great, but that can't be me. I want you to know I was the most stage frightened person you could imagine. If I can do it, so can you. And so we're passing this torch to you and to the next generation. And I'm so excited to see what we can do together because again, we don't do any work alone. I wanna thank Positive Exposure, my parents, um, God and just everyone that's ever believed uh, that we could be better, that we can do better, especially in dark times. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean. I wanted to wish you the biggest congratulations in the world on receiving the Positive Exposure Rising Leader Award. You are so incredibly deserving of this honor, not only for who you are as a person, but for all of the tireless work and advocacy that you continue to do and give back to our community every single day. I'm so proud of you and honored to call you a friend. Tons of love for you, my friend. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. My name is Mandy Harvey, and I wanted to say to Sean specifically, I am so incredibly proud of you. And I know that this is an amazing award that you're about to receive, and I am just so thankful that you are being recognized for all of the work that you're doing, but it is such a small award in comparison to the effort and the time that you spend and that you will spend for the rest of your life because that's just the kind of person you are. Thank you for being that kind of person. Thank you for being the person who navigates through storms and creates creative solutions to knocking down and breaking down the barriers that are before you, not just for you, but for all of the people around you. Thank you for being a champion and for leading the way for your students, leading the way for the rest of us to be able to follow your example of just being in general kick butt. Congratulations. And I look forward to seeing you in person in the future and to say congratulations in person. But from my heart, thank you for being you. When I feel like I'm all broken pieces that I wish I could just throw away Look for glue I can put in between them Back in place, back in place Cause my heart is way up on the ceiling And my mind took a boat sailed away But I still got my angels and demons Used up stream, can of pain
Exposure and Rick have been such a blessing to our world, helping us to find the beauty in it, um, and also showing us how to see, not just with our eyes, but also with our heart. So thank you to all of you for supporting the important mission, and all of us at A Children's House for the Soul just want to remind you that you were made a masterpiece. Thanks, Positive Exposure. We love you. Here to help us pay tribute to the Positive Exposure 2021 Spirit of Change Award recipient, Dr. Steve Perlman, are two very distinguished individuals whose countless accomplishments are way too long to list here. Tim Shriver, Chairman of the Special Olympics International Board of Directors, and Dr. Rick Radar, a member of the Medical Advisory Committee of the Special Olympics. Hi, I'm Tim Shriver, and I'm thrilled to be able to join you all today in celebrating the career, the life, the legend, Steve Perlman, his wife Harriet, his legions of students and fans and friends and, and patients who together uh, would all be cheering today as you honor this American healthcare hero. Steve, I remember my mother, before I came to Special Olympics, telling me the story of finding a dentist, finding someone to care for Rosemary. I also remember her haunting tales of her childhood where she saw her mother, my grandmother, put down the phone over and over again and say, there's nothing for Rosemary. There's nothing, nothing, no one for Rosemary. That long legacy of isolation and pain, of injustice and intolerance and indifference, yielded in a single moment to your yes. Because when she picked up the phone and called you, it was yes to Rosemary. It was yes to care, yes to professionalism, yes to compassion, yes to expertise, yes to a woman who deserved the best, just like we all do. Steve, you have led a revolution. Everyone in this room knows it, but there are millions of people around the world who know it too. I'd like to suggest that in this occasion, uh, if I could, a friendly amendment. It really shouldn't be uh, Steve Perlman, an American healthcare hero. It really should be Steve Perlman, an American hero. And actually, maybe even more accurately, Steve Perlman, hero. 
There are millions of people all over the world, Steve, who may never know your name, but they will know your care. They will know your compassion. They will know in some way those eyes, we've all seen them, where you look into our eyes and you communicate this enormous heartfelt love that you have for your work, uh, for all of us in this family, for your determination to use that love and energy and professionalism to make a difference. I feel lucky in my life to have met true revolutionaries, people who know from their heart when something needs to change and will stop at nothing to ensure that it does. Steve Perlman, hero, revolutionary. We're all grateful. Congratulations. I'm Dr. Rick Rada, the director of the Habilitation Center at the Orange Rope Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Wow, the Spirit of Change Award for Dr. Steve Perlman. Steve, do you even have wall space for another certificate? I find it somewhat ironic that Dr. Perlman is being honored by positive exposure. Ironic because Dr. Perlman has distinguished himself by pursuing a campaign of negative exposure. It was Dr. Perlman, after all, who pointed out how healthcare had failed individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It was Dr. Perlman who used negative exposure to propose, promote, and provide a better way, a positive way of addressing the shameful neglect of denying people with special needs healthcare. The award spirit of change is where Dr. Perlman has achieved everything. Real change is doing something totally different, not simply doing the same thing differently. It requires the guts to say, this hasn't worked, this didn't work, and this will not work. And he said it. Steve inspired that change and literally unhinged healthcare by creating the global program that eventually became the Special Olympics Healthy Athletes Program. That program and its supporters has transcended Special Olympics and became a full tilt global boogie change in the way we saw how access to healthcare for people with developmental disabilities could become a reality. Steve and I consider ourselves brothers from different mothers, and I am honored that he asked me to go along for the ride. Steve, don't let the Spirit of Change Award change you. Stay the course. Congratulations, brother. I'm blown away by uh, the award. It's been so much my pleasure working with you all these years, and to follow in the footsteps of the original recipient, Judy Human, is just amazing to me. And congratulations also to Sean Horn who was getting the Rising Leader Award. My first 25 years of my career was spent on my passion, which was providing health care for people with disabilities, both children and adults. When Eunice Kennedy Shriver asked me to create a health program for Special Olympics and to bring health into the lives of, a, we have five million athletes in Special Olympics. And the fact that I could do something to impact those children and adults lives in 150 countries was an incredible thing. And working with positive exposure has been so amazing to me because we have to educate the next generation of whether it be physicians or nurses or occupational therapists or physical therapists or speech and language or, or nutritionists. Okay. Steve Perlman, I am so proud to present to you the Positive Exposure 2021 Spirit of Change Award. It's such an honor to present this to you. Thank you so much. I've witnessed firsthand healthy athletes, healthy communities at the Special Olympics World Games, and these amazing athletes there that you fight every single day for, not just for those athletes, but for all individuals living with disabilities and their families. You, you're there fighting the fight every single day. I am so proud to be standing here side by side, offering you this award and presenting this to you. You're an amazing young man, and I love you so much. So proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, this is Bika from Positive Exposure Belgium. Hi, Dr. Perlman. Hi, Steve. It's just a true honor to honor our work as a global leader, educator, clinician, advocate, and activist for inclusive health with the Positive Exposure Spirit of Change Award.
As a founder of Special Olympics Special Smiles, you've brought healthcare services to the Special Olympics, a move that have re revolutionized how the healthcare system interacts with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And as a co-founder of the AADMD, you've been at the forefront of every policy change affecting people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Throughout your career, you've been training future healthcare leaders and clinicians across the world including me, and connecting and preparing them to face the unique challenges in caring for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. With little more than your vision, your passion, your knowledge, and your heart, you make an amazing impact on the many lives you touch. You are a change maker and a global leader of the highest order. Your enthusiasm, energy is just incredible and infectious. You open eyes everywhere. You have the biggest heart and you just breathe love. Everything you do is out of love. Positive Exposure couldn't be more grateful to have you as an amazing friend and supporter. And on a personal level, I'm just beyond grateful that our paths crossed seven years ago and for introducing me to Positive Exposure and to Rick for your mentorship and your ongoing support. You've encouraged me to change my dreams, to always dream big, and that anything is possible. You're an inspiration to me and to so many other people. And I will be forever grateful to you for caring for me as family and for standing physically by my side in the hospital there during one of the scariest and hardest moments in my life. Thank you. And just never stop touching lives, doing what you do, being who you are, and keep breathing love. Big hugs. Hi, my name is Kathleen Nagy. I have brown hair, brown eyes, and I'm wearing a red shirt. I'm especially the athlete who can teach in bocce, basketball, and flarky skills. My favorite sport is long distance swimming. Congratulations, Dr. Perlman. You have changed the lives of so many Special Olympic athletes by starting healthy athletes. Thank you for your commitment to the intellectual disabled population. By your actions, you have encouraged us not to let our differences define us and to let us know that we can do anything we set our minds to do, regardless of our disabilities. Thank you, Dr. Perlman. Congratulations, Dad. We're very proud of you for this award and for being there for us always. We love you. Love you. I can't believe our 2021 Change How You See celebration is almost over. Before our final performance, I want to thank everyone for all your support. There's still time to donate, and our auction items will close in just 15 minutes. So you have 10 minutes after the show to check them out and bid. Because remember that together we can create positive change in this world. I love you all so much, and I'm sending each and every one of you around the world a billion hugs. And now to close us out, here again are the Broadway boys, along with many of our other performers from tonight, for one final song of celebration. We're coming to the edge, running on the water, coming through the fog, your sons and daughters. Let the river run, let all the dreamers wake the nation. Come, a new Jerusalem.
never even seen in the eyes of your lover. Oh, my heart is aching. We're coming to the edge, running on the water, coming through the fog, your sons and daughters. Thanks for your support, and as we always say, change how you see, see how you change. Thank you all so much for joining us. We truly appreciate your support and can't wait to see you back next year. On behalf of the Junior Board, thank you for watching tonight and for supporting Positive Exposure. And congratulations to you, Sean, on your well-deserved Rising Leader Award. And congratulations, Dr. Perlman, for your incredible legacy and for the Spirit of Change Award. Please follow us on social media for a big announcement on a new initiative the Junior Board has taken on. Thank you so much and have a great night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.